We've got some more good recruiting updates for you guys on today's show. Before we get going, Alabama is now up to six 2024 commits in the month of July alone. We put the over under at five and a half. We got about a full week to go, and it already hit the over. Our goal today is 100 likes per commitment, so we need your help. Like today's video right now. Let's begin with the 2024 edition. That is William Sanders, the four-star interior offensive lineman out of Brookwood, Alabama. He is the third interior lineman to commit, and one that was mostly expected uh, back when Alabama first offered him and now uh, potential, not officially signed, of course, uh, teammate, classmate, Joseph Iannata. The buzz was he's going to end up being a commitment to Alabama, and he has, with a massive jump in the recruiting rankings a part of this. From when he was first offered, he was outside the top 1,000 in the 24-7 sports composite. But turns out, Alabama Nick Saban might know what they're doing, and the updated rankings have Sanders in the top 400, 397 overall. He's the number 25 interior offensive lineman, the number 21 player in the state of Alabama, as the Crimson Tide beat out LSU and Mississippi State to nab the four-star interior offensive lineman. Here's what... His admittedly biased Brookwood offensive line coach had to say on Sanders, I swear that kid has sledgehammers for hands. If he gets his hand on, hands on you, it's a good chance he's going to win that rep. Sanders, meanwhile, and why he went to Alabama, looking at the facts and looking at the history, Alabama is the best way of getting into the league and to that next step. He's not wrong. Now, not every Alabama offensive lineman has become a great college football player or become an NFL player, but there are several first-round picks on this list. Evan Neal, Cam Robinson, Ryan, or Robinson's early second-rounder, Dickerson's a second-rounder, Ryan Kelly, some interior guys just like William Sanders on that list. Uh, hopefully a better NFL career than what, unfortunately, Alex Leatherwood has had so far, but Bradley Bozeman's carved out a career as an NFL starter at center, which I don't think everyone really saw coming right there. So I do think Sanders is right. So this interior offensive line class has three potential key pieces. There's Casey Poe, the four-star who was committed between Sanders and Joseph Iannata, who's actually a Florida State legacy and still picked the Crimson Tide over uh, North Carolina, or FSU and plenty of others. Now Sanders comes aboard. It's a good start. Last year's class had a lot of good offensive tackles. This year they're going hard on the interior of the offensive line. We will give some credit here to offensive line coach Eric Wolford for the job he's done recruiting so far. So including recruiting, but we can include general offensive line coaching here as well. Rate the job he's done. One to ten. It's one on the high end or on the low end. Duh, Tom. Ten on the high end. These are now the updated 2024 recruiting rankings with the Crimson Tide still not done. They've gone from barely inside the top 30 this month all the way up to number five. The volume finally beginning to, to catch up to the very strong quality of this class. Crimson Tide, not done yet. They trail Michigan, Florida, Ohio State, and Georgia as, shocker, the SEC continues to lead the way in the recruiting rankings. Jumping now to 2025, Jamie French, I believe it's pronounced French and not F -f French, uh, the, I'm kidding, of course, the wide receiver uh, for next year's recruiting cycle has also committed to the Alabama Crimson Tide beating out a list that includes, among his other top contenders, Florida State, Florida, Ohio State, LSU. Again, when you are a five-star recruit, to a certain extent, you have your pick of where you want to play football. Every now and then, there's not that. Uh, I'm thinking of some quarterbacks at Texas who have had that issue not being offered, but he's a five-star recruit in the class of 2025. He's number 13 overall. Again, much like Sanders' rankings, these are the 24-7 sports composite rankings. He's the number four wide receiver, which pairs with Ryan Williams for two of the top four wide receivers in the 2025 class, for now, of course, and the number three player in the state of Florida. All right, do you guys like the recruiting videos? If you do, type in Y for yes in the comment section. If you don't, that's fine too. Just type in your ends for no right now. Here's what French said about Alabama, why he committed. He told this to Bama Online, by the way. It was great. 
hearing that excitement from the coaches, also hearing them pumped up about me. They worked hard in trying to recruit me to commit. Now that it actually happened, they were excited. They can't wait for me to come in and get back on campus. It's going to be dangerous, he said on the offense. With Julian saying at quarterback, it's going to be dangerous. Bringing that culture back they had with Tua, Judy, and all those guys. Bringing that culture back definitely helps Alabama and the coaching staff. We'll get back to some more updates for you guys around the Crimson Tide, but we do have the jersey deal on sale. Chatsports.com slash Alabama jersey. Custom jerseys for either your name, friend's name, whatever, something that's uh, a former player. They have just some former players, like Bryce Young, for example. Maybe you want to get a, a deeper cut jersey uh, for some extent. Maybe you want to go like a... Uh, I don't know, a Bo Scarborough jersey, if you just want to name random Bama players in the comments. You can find the link to the jerseys on sale, 25% off, chatsports.com slash Alabama jersey, again, in the comments section and the description of today's show. Been offense, offense, offense for the 2025 class for Alabama. Two five-star wide receivers, Ryan Williams, Jamie French, four-star back, Anthony Rogers, two four-star tackles, Mason Short and Dontrell Glover. It's a pretty damn good start to a recruiting class. Knowing things can and will change, it's a good, 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 good start overall for the Crimson Tide. All right, the 2025 recruiting rankings here. Alabama sits at number two on the list. They trail the Georgia Bulldogs at this point, uh, which I'm sure that'll be the battle all the way through. The Alabama Crimson Tide, the second. Penn State, Clemson are four and five. TCU at six, that won't stay the, the same forever. Michigan's at seven, Oklahoma's at eight. And you know it's a way too early list when UCF is number nine. Uh, they will not be finishing the top 10 program, I promise you that. Even by the time we get to this time next year, they're not gonna be in the top 10 still. Now, if you're all the way into the today's video and you're still watching, but you haven't subscribed, it's kind of weird. You clearly like the show, you, you don't hate me at least. So subscribe. We're going to be free Alabama videos all throughout the fall camp, off season like we're in right now, regular season playoffs as well. Hit that sub button all for free right now at youtube.com slash RollTideTV. One more note, as we mentioned briefly here, but confirmed again by Eli Gold, he's coming back this year after he missed all of last season uh, after a cancer battle, which he won, by the way. Here's what Eli Gold said on his timeline to return to the booth for the Crimson Tide. I'm going to be doing the, the two scrimmages, not on the air, but the two scrimmages the team has always had on the two Saturdays before the start of the regular season. As I sat in the bed and at times felt sorry for myself, I also realized that I was coming back into the broadcast booth. I said, I'm going to do that. Alabama football is that important to me. But I said, I'm going to be back in that Alabama broadcast booth Nothing is going to keep me out. It's always good to have something to push yourself towards as you try to recover from unfortunate illness there. So I am very glad that Eli Gold is back. If you are too, type me in the comments section.